All right, all right. Okay. My name's Nick Schmidt. Uh, you can Google me if you want. Uh, 27 years old. I live in a town two hours south of Chicago, in a small town where it's mainly known for uh, the University of Illinois. It's called Champaign, Illinois. 27 years old, I have my accounting degree and I have my master's degree in just general MBA. And I live with my parents. Great. Uh, I've done other videos and stuff like that before, and I never really told anyone that I actually lived at home with my parents. In one of the videos, I did another confessional kind of thing. True story! Well, I guess the first thing we, I can talk about is my roommates. My roommates... They are driving me crazy right now. Uh, they're so freaking loud. And I don't know what to do about it. They talk loud because they can't hear. Did you get a, you get a shake too? Hey dad, what? did you get a shake? I'm coming, mom got told Did you get a shake? What? Did you get a shake? Did I get anything? No. Did she get a shake? Yes. Okay, thank you. That's all I was asking. I said your mom. Asked three times. So your mom was hungry, so I went and got her something to eat. They're even loud when they sleep. I can hear them snoring. Or, or, sl or slamming the door even during my confessional. Anyway, so I after I graduated college, I came back home like anyone else probably did, got a job, then started going to get my master's, and uh, I finished my master's in May. 2005 and I've been looking for jobs everywhere uh, applying to jobs in Denver, San Antonio, traveling to both those places I've been going sending resumes to Florida, New York even London, uh, California, Portland St. Louis, Chicago and that's what's even crazier it's just up north a little bit more but uh, no one wants me, so I'm still here at home spending 200 plus dollars a month on freaking gas. So I'm, and I work for a non-for-profit agency, and so I don't make much money. Uh, so I'm staying here at the parents, trying to get my way out of here. I can give you a little tour about some things. Uh, so let's just, one of the first things could be uh, my picture on the wall of every grade I've been in. I think this is kindergarten, first, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, you know, to my senior picture. Check out the cool octagon glasses, yeah, huh? Anyway, you know, it's kind of hard. When you're 27, you go out to the bars and you meet girls and everything, and can't actually bring them home anywhere. Uh, yeah, you want to go back to my parents, but you got to sleep downstairs. Uh, so the only really r rules I have with my parents is I can't really be sleeping with some girl in the same bed. At least I try not. Well, and that's another subject. Anyway, but uh, yeah. Let's try to sneak up on them and see how, like, the TV is always freaking loud when around them and you have to speak really loud. I don't know if you can hear it now, but... Right, but this, this would go with you right, right here. Okay, right, all right. 
So that's it. And I'm just, just trying to bring that curve a little bit. That's my dad right there. The TV's way loud. I always have to have this door. I always have to have this door closed so I live downstairs so I can hear my TV or even listen to music. You know? So, I don't know. Continuous confidence. And all these things and uh, do chores. But if I have my own place, I'll be doing the same thing. Oh, the other thing, I get four cats. Is that hot? Having four cats. There's another cat. Having four cats is not hot. No girl's gonna want a guy with a with a hat. Or oh yeah, how about this? No girl's ever gonna want to see a guy with a freaking mannequin in the house. I'm a six six feet tall. There's a freaking man. There's a freaking mannequin in my house. And behind the mannequin is a whole bunch of these expensive little dolls, and they're scary. Or they can be. Well, I don't really, you know, talk to very many ladies because I only can go to their place if we want to hang out just by ourselves. But sometimes I can bring them to the basement and you shut that freaking door. And you have to listen to my parents to come down or you got to, you know, you know, like you gotta move your body, you know, a certain way so they don't think you're really fooling around like how you did in high school. But, uh, <laughs> it's a little bit embarrassing. I think it's about time for me to get out of here. But I can't find a job before I leave, so that's another problem. So, before I go, this last thing I want to say is uh, my mom passed away on June 27th. Uh, while I was taping all this, she knew about these videos, she liked it, but um, I didn't tape her or my dad because they, my dad was helping my mom, my mom wasn't feeling that great, but um, for living with my parents for the past four years after college, which isn't the cool thing to do, I don't regret it one bit, I'm glad I stayed with them for the past four years. So this video video is dedicated to mom.